Do I love baseball? Well, it's April 11th, and I've got nosebleed seats at Target Field in Minneapolis for the Twins home opener. It's 40 degrees, and I would say that I'm a big baseball fan. It's still the national pastime, and I've got a history with the game. For a few games of the Madison Muskies and Oakland A's farm team, I was the color commentary guy, or gal. Back in the early 80s, legendary prankster Leon Vargian and I announced a few tape delay musky games for cable TV. For me, it led to network TV in New York and this gig on Democratic Visions. Leon's the guy with the famous mustache and grin. There's more to this story, and it has a lot to do with good-natured, whimsical pranks and performance art. Oh, hello there. Uh, this is your senator, Senator Phineas T. Filibuster here. I was among Leon Vargian's commandos. Mostly university students hell-bent on injecting grand-scale whimsy and fun into officious and bloviated town-and-gown politics. It was Leon and his alter ego, Jim Mallon, who formed the Pail and Shovel Party, which got them elected to lead the student government. They used student funds to place a fake Statue of Liberty on Lake Mendota and place a thousand pink flamingos on Bascom Hill. Postcards of these pranks still sell in Madison. Sadly, Leon, a cancer survivor, passed away last September of an apparent heart attack. The Madison City Council proclaimed February 23rd as Leon Vargian Day. In his native New Jersey, Leon had become a beloved math teacher. But in Madison, Wisconsin, and with pranksters everywhere, he's remembered as the drum major of the boombox parade. Band members carried radios tuned into stations playing Sousa marches. There was also the popular Vern and Evelyn comedy show. The show was hosted by live mice, Vern and Evelyn. They were rescued from a research lab. I know, I worked with them. And let's not forget the massive toga parties and pail and shovel promises to rename the University of Wisconsin to the more prestigious sounding University of New Jersey. Maybe Governors Walker and Christie should have talked about it. They would have done better in the primaries. Leon Vargian, boombox band, pink flamingos, and baseball. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>